Hey everyone, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com. Today I want to give you a free video drum lesson teaching you that really cool outro that Nico McBrain plays uh, on the song The Trooper by of course Iron Maiden. And I've got a free PDF drum chart that goes with this lesson which you can find a link for beneath this video. You'll find it over on uh, my website. You can download and just print it out and have it in front of you for this lesson. Um, there's a lot of really cool fun little licks in here and of course it features the Fuddler Dump, one of my favourite drum licks and uh, obviously Nico likes it a lot as well. Um, so uh, let's crack on, the tempo 165 BPM is quite fast um, and it, the bit I'm transcribing for you occurs around 3 minute 59 into the song, so right at the end basically the last section, um, just as uh, Nico comes out of the final chorus. So, um, like I said, we've got this, this famous lick um, uh, that uh, lots of people call different things. Um, I like to call it the fuddler dump. It, I forget the word, but it sound, the word sounds like um, the thing it's describing. So, fuddler dump, fuddler dump. It's very, very simple. It's just um, a little bit tricky to play it faster, smoothly, but there's nothing really complicated going on. It's just right, left, right foot. And that's definitely the most common orchestration idea of it. It just lends itself so nicely to go round the drums. Highest pitch, next highest pitch, next highest pitch, lowest pitch. So you go da 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 da, fuddle a dump. It's just a matter of making it smooth and making sure that bass drum at the end is, is, is separate to the hand. You hear it on its own at the end. Don't try and play. That will happen if you touch when you practice it. Your, your right hand will come down with the bass drum. We need to separate all four notes. So uh, another a very common way this is played is through triplets, and there's no exception here. That, um, it's exactly what Nico does, starting on the end of beat three. But we come in with a flam on the snare drum on beat three first. So it's really it's a two, part, um, two parts to it, but it's one lick together. You want to think of it as one lick together. So it's three and four. And make sure that bass drum, you understand that bass drum, falls on beat four. And it starts on the and of three. Three and four. And three and four. And three and four. Three and four. And three and four. And three and four. And three and four. Okay. So then coming out of these, um, uh, these I guess, stabs really are... Um, the snare drum and hi-hat being played, or in the crash cymbal on, on the second line, being played on the and of four, sort of for the rest of the band. Dun, 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 dun. And that's on the and of beat four. So we get one, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and. And what Nico does is he plays it as, um, just double checking my microphone now, that's a bit weird. Um, it's gone weird in my ears again. Snare drum and hi-hat opening on the and of four. And you don't really have to count it, but it, it technically um, closes on beat one of the next bar. You could think of it as just a 16th note long, but the song's going by really fast. That an eighth note actually has the same effect. So it's a hi-hat bar, snare drum and hi-hat played together on beat, on the and of four, closing on the next bar on beat one. And one. And the little O above the hi-hat indicates an open note, and the plus on the next bar, bar two, over the hi-hat with the foot, means closed. So that bar, one and two and three and four and one, two. Let's do a, a loop, a loop the two bars around a few times. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three and four and two, three, four. Let's speed up a bit. One, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two. Up to speed, 165. One, two, two, that's sloppy. One, two, that was nice. One, two. So when I said nice and sloppy, the difference there was in my head that I was hearing, and maybe you heard as well, the, the, the smoothness of those four notes. If they're not smooth, I don't like it, it doesn't sound right. Uh, okay, so um, that's the first two bars. Bars three, bar three, has the same idea just not starting with a flam, and play between two different toms. That's another thing I should mention for this lesson, is I've transcribed this for four toms. Um, Nico has way more than that, and you might have way less. So you've got to come to decisions by yourself. What drums do you use? What toms do you use? But what I recommend for this is sort of two of your lowest drums. I could use these two toms. I'm going to use this, these two toms here, because it's just right here and nice and comfortable for me. We're going to play 
Starting on the and of beat two, the fuddle a dump, but it's going to be played this way. So it's not, it's now. The only thing that's changed is the orchestration. And it's played twice on the and of two and the and of three. One and two and three and four and. And we get that stab at the end of the bar. One and two and three and four and. One and two. Oh, um, um. <laughs> Almost missed the drums there. One, two, three, four. I'm not counting it properly, am I? So let me play that whole line for you, counting out loud so we can hear it. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one. Oops, uh, faster. One, and two, and two, three, four, one, two. That was pretty much up to speed, and I'll play up to speed for you in a moment. Okay, so on to the second line, and the first bar we, is, is, is the same idea again, but um, starting on perhaps your highest tom with a flam on beat three, three, and then go down a set of toms and play the fuddle the dump, and this time instead of playing and, as we had previously, Nico goes into a crash symbol on the and of four. So we get one and two and three and four and, that's just two bass drums there, four and. Three and four and. So then we get uh, ready with, with the, the run down the toms for the bar two. It starts on the and of beat one. I've given you a suggested sticking underneath, although um, I, I probably wouldn't start each grouping with my left hand, even though I've written it that way. After practicing it, I'd probably just keep with my right hand. But the first note, certainly, because it's over here, I'll play with my left hand, but use your own stickings. We get one and two and it stays on the drum, one and two E and. I like this, I like the idea of, of Nico throwing in these bass drums at the end of these linear, li uh, linear rolls, single stroke rolls on the toms. Do that again for you, one and two E and, two E and, and then onto the next drum, Tom, we get three and a four E and, three and a four E and, bat, 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 boom. And then onto the next bar, the rhythm, the pattern continues, except this time we get one and a two E and. And Nico chooses to not play that and a two on the bass drum. He plays it on his lowest tom or the next lower tom. But you could place it with the, play it with the bass drum instead. What you hear on the recording is this, one and a two E and, but you could play one and a two E and again, if you wanted to put the bass drum in. Then that bar ends with, Three and four and, if that's how the song ends, it's the same lick just played at the end of that bar. So at the second line, one and two and three and four and one and two e and three and a four e and one and a two e and three and four and. Um, and as I speed up, I'll probably stop counting because I'm running out of breath now. One and two and. sort of almost up to speed there. Let me do that a bit slower. One and two and da da da. And the two lines up to speed. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two. I uh, missed it. I knew I shouldn't have tested myself and um, Started with the click and at the end of this lesson, I've got the beginning, um, I've got the version of me playing at the beginning of this lesson, which is obviously taken a few takes to go around it perfectly for you. So I'll stick with that version. If you want to hear me play up to speed, go back to the beginning of the video. Um, now come on, let's do the second line with the click. I just missed out on the hi hat, that's all I missed. One, two. It's embarrassing. I don't think Nick is, Nico, if I know, they're not playing with a click themselves, um, so they wouldn't have put themselves under that pressure to stay with the click. Let me do it again, that's sloppy. Second line. One, two. Panicking now, so panic reading never does me good. One, two. Missing all over the place. One, two.
That was okay. I'm not used to playing a four tom setup. I know I've had this for a while now, but I've always been a two tom man and having four toms. So I, I miss this, this tom over here because I haven't spent the years learning the muscle memory. Anyway, that's the whole lesson. That's the whole part. Um, by the way, at the beginning of the song, there's a very si similar intro. And I think instead of playing that stab, I think he just plays a crash cymbal. So you can, you can, you can use this, these licks for the beginning of the song as well. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download your free PDF. And you might also want to consider signing up to become a member at drumstheword.com. Uh, if you go over to my website, what you get for a, a year subscription uh, for $97 currently is access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded. That's over 250 full songs, not just these little ones, full lessons teaching the song from start to finish, plus the full PDF drum chart. Some are huge. Um, and you get instant online access to all of those. Plus, as a thank you for signing up, I give you um, hundreds of little freebies, little videos, three large ebooks I wrote a f a quite a few years ago now, containing hundred more, hundreds more famous beats, fills, and solos. I think it's a real uh, a bargain for money, but then I would. I am very, very biased. If you've got any questions, email me, robertdrumsaword.com. Come on over to Facebook and say hi. Until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip, happy drumming to you.